Okay, again. Hello. 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 Jumbo. 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 Very nice to meet you. Welcome to Zanzibar. My name is Wilfred. Wilfred? Yes. I am your tour guide in Zanzibar. Transferring you today to the north at the Aman Beach Resort. And then tomorrow, I am picking you up at 8. From there to Stone Town for Stone Town yeah. tour. And then I'll be bringing you back. Then on Friday, I pick you again at 10 o'clock a.m. from there to the ferry and then I'll be done. We are now on the way to Amani Beach Resort. We drive one hour plus to get over there. The road is good but at the end it is a massage one. A what? Massage road. Bumping one. Okay. Maybe about one kilometer. Wow. But so far so good, okay? So far, so good. From the beginning. You are in Zanzibar. We are very happy to see you coming back. Because we did miss you a lot for the past two years. Remember that our economy depends much on the tourism industry so that missing you we had a very big setback in our economy country economy and individuals economy so today everyone is happy to see you coming here making our life back to the track remember that the name Zanzibar its origin it is from Arabic. Good. So Danzba in Arabic is Good. named as Zenj Alibahari. Then in English, it is yes, so the I land of the black people out of the sea. So that when Arabs came to this island, they came to find out that the locals were black. So that they gave the name to the island similar to the colors of the people. Today, we are with different colors because of the intermarriage between Arabs and locals. And again, Arabs came to this island to change our way of believing. Today, people living in Zanzibar, majorities are Muslims. Minorities, we are Christians. Good. I say we are because I am Catholic. All of us, we are living together. We take care of each other. We love each other. We tolerate each other. And we are very good respecting each other. So that today's Zanzibar is a Muslim society but which is not under any kind of Muslim laws. And why so are we majority Muslims? Remember that the Arabs, when they came to this island, they came to find out that the locals had no any kind of religion, so that they came to convert us, okay, to be Muslims. And then that's why today, majority of the people living around here we are Muslims, which means the blessing code around here is flexible. The way you are, you are very perfect. For the boys, you can keep the way you are. For the ladies, you are very good. But remember that during Ramadan is when we do look something different. But otherwise, we are almost similar to the Christian governments. For example, today in Zanzibar, Friday is not a public off day, like in Muslim majority countries. And Sunday is a public off day. Nobody is complaining. Nobody is fighting about it. 
when we speak of Zanzibar, we are speaking of two big islands. Maybe, do you know the, the name of this one? Who knows it? Who can tell me the name of this one? Because there is another one at the north. And yes, good. And then there is 48 small, small ones, okay? But most of them, people are not living here because are coral land or coral rocks islands. And even this one here, the main one, the big one, half of it, it is a coral rocks land, which means half of this island, 25,000 years ago, it came to be covered by the sea. So that you do not know them yet the name of this island, I'm telling you, the name of this island is Unguja, the biggest one and the, the most developed one. So that the name Zanzibar is the name combining all of the islands. It is the name of the archipelago. Swahili is our native language. It is our national language. Remember that the language was born here. We are the owner of the language so that we do speak it the best compared to the rest. And then we speak English as a second language. But remember that we were colonized by the Arabs more than 300 years. But we don't speak Arabic as our second language. Why? Because Arabs didn't educate us. But the British who came to Zanzibar in 1890 to 1963, they came with education, teaching us on how to read and write our language, Swahili. So that's why today we do write Swahili by using English letters, not Arabic letters. The name of the school in Zanzibar is Skuli, S-K-U-L-I. This is from Swahili, sorry, from English to Swahili. And our syllabuses are very much based on Cambridge and Oxford universities because the British are the ones who came to set it up. Which means we begin with kindergarten, okay, from four years. Then we go for primary education for seven years. And then secondary schools, high schools, universities and colleges, okay? Something similar to, to, to them. Zanzibar, we are very safe, okay? But not 100%. We are not angels, okay? But we are very good. So that be free with your items. You can walk around when you go to the beach. Okay? Don't stay away from your items, understand? Okay? 100% good, but not angels, okay? Making pictures from the people. Ask the permission when you are close to them. Otherwise, make pictures from a distance. Otherwise, make pictures from items, not of them. Okay? Buying something around here. When you are in town areas, you can go with dollars or Tanzania shillings. Otherwise, in the villages, for sometimes, for somewhere, it can be confusing them, okay? On how to make the exchange rate. But you are free to ask them and buy whatever you want, okay? around here drinking water always drink bottled water okay don't make it like the way we do it around here we are taking tap water straight from the taps we are used for it but for you sometimes it may be not good for you down over there yes can see people looking over there it is playing playgrounds okay amusement park Okay, which are uh, only by the government. But remember that our water is very clean because coral stones are all over around underground. End of the day, the water is clean, 
That's why on the way as we drive around here, we can see the lockers in white fabrics. They do keep it white because of the water they use to wash it. It is very, very clean. Passports are needed at the airport or at the ferry. So there's no need for you, okay, to walk around with your passports. Nobody can stop you and ask you where are you coming from? Where are you going to? Understand? That question will be asked, asked to you when you go to the ferry, to Dar es Salaam, or to the airport, okay, to everywhere. Otherwise, you are very good, okay, around here. Remember that we are driving through Stone Town suburbs. So this is not Stone Town, okay? We make the visit of the town which is next over there at uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Again, as we drive around here, looking outside, we're gonna see some buildings are uh, built but not finished because the local majorities we don't have enough money to make it quick. We do it pole pole, no? Oh, eh? Uh huh. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. so, Why it's cruel by selfie, but I can Ah, okay, good.